do you want custom shirts like this for free? You come to the right place, honestly. Welcome. Before I start this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. You gotta subscribe. Road to 2000. You guys gotta help me. Help me subscribe, bro. To be honest, I'm gonna just start it off. I mean, like, what is there to wait for? What you want to do is pull out your maker pen. What you could do to pull out your maker pen, go to your backpack and call for your maker pen right here. It'll spawn in front of you. Grab it or you can favorite it. Pull it out from your back. Simple. Okay, so we're going to need to do a little bit of circuits. Okay, I'm terrible with circuits, but you know what I'm saying? Just follow along. I'll go very slow. Trust. It's, it's pretty easy. So what you want to do is open your maker pen, go to palette and search up these things. You're going to go to search in your maker pen. And you're gonna search for button we want the legacy button there's two buttons you want this one legacy go spawn that right here after that you want this a combat just hook up com literally a combinator chip you want two of these okay boom boom just spawn two simple damn the next chip i forgot the name hold on i'll just find it a variable chip my fault i forgot the name for a second Put that right under there. Then you need a respawn circle thingy. Hook up object respawner, boom, right here. I'm gonna spawn that right here. What you're gonna do is you wanna click configure on your maker pen and click the red thing, okay? And then it's gonna say zero. You wanna change that to 100,000. 100,000, so that should have five zeros and one one. That's 100,000, okay? After you change that to 100,000, you're going to click configure. I'm sorry. I just got a message. Click configure. You're going to click this one, the first one that you placed, and you're going to click the little star thingy. It's going to change it to multiply. You guys see the multiply sign? That means you're doing good. You're, you're doing everything right. You're going to take your wiring from the red to the green. Boom. And then from over here, this red from the multiply thing, you're going to put it to this green to the plus. The plus you're not going to touch, okay? And then you're gonna go back to configure and you're gonna configure the variable chip that's down here, right? You're gonna see the red signal and you're gonna put that to 18. Boom, it should be at 18. Once you just put it, you can just let it go. Grab the wire, you're gonna get your plus chip. You see it says a plus on the red and you're gonna put it onto the red of the variable. Now, all you really need to do is wire this to this. So wire the red plus to the green object respawner right but not yet we're not gonna do that yet you're gonna configure you're gonna configure the object respawner and it says tag to respawn you're gonna click that and all you're gonna do is put c l o t h i n g c u s t o m i z e r boom clothing customizer you're gonna grab your wire again and you're gonna put it to the green. And when I click this button, the clothing board should spawn. Now we got a clothing board. I will say this does work with multiple people in the dorm room. Let's say you do have Rec Room Plus and you want to be with your friends and you wanna have like multiple of the boards and you guys wanna draw together while you're chatting, blah, 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 in the same dorm room. This could also help with that. You just make this simply and you could have as much people spawn it in so i'm going to be joining on my alt account i'm going to join on my phone to also prove to you that it works even if you don't have record plus all right this is my alt account do not mind why he looks like that he's going to click the button so yeah he clicked the button he's going to continuously click the button and it's obviously going to respawn there i do not have record plus on that i will not spend record plus on this account just for a video it's just stupid like look at him I will let y'all know this does work in custom rooms also, but here's the bad part, okay? There's always a bad part. When you, if you do not have Rec Room Plus, you cannot save or publish. As you can see, I have a save and publish thing. Save, publish, I could publish this shirt if I want to, which I'm not. That's the thing. If you do not have Rec Room Plus, you cannot do this, but you could you still do get the board and you could draw on it this, this could be a good thing only because you could practice on it before you actually thinking about buying rec room plus so it's so it's good to at least try it out before you actually get the like the full thing practice on how you would draw on this or whatever practice your art bot whatever you want literally and you guys also probably notice that there's no markers here this is basically what you got to do you got to go to your palette go to props the creative one and literally you gotta use the markers from over here. The eraser. Okay, thank you. The multicolor. The multi the marker set. 
this is what you're gonna have to use usually when you have Requiem plus they'll spawn markers on there not on in this situation you would have to spawn in your own markers practice before you buy it that would be very nice and i hope you guys like comment and subscribe and goodbye Don't forget to eat ass, man.